Magandang buhay! At today, we will study how to determine the equation of a quadratic function using the given values. Pero may kukwento muna ako sa inyo. Merong magnanay. Nandun sila sa sala. Yung nanay, naku, walang tigil sa paglilinis, walis dito, walis dyan. Samantalang yung anak, laro ng laro, nagkakalat. Hindi na siguro nakapagpigil yung ina, kinagalitan yung anak. Anak, kanina pa ako linis ng linis dito, ikaw naman, kalat lang ng kalat dyan. Naku, sumagot yung anak. Ang sabi, inay, mas nakakahiya naman siguro na ako ang naglilinis dyan at kayo ang laro ng laro. <laughs> Hindi na nakakibu ang ina. Okay, anyway, uh, before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel below this video. Pindutin lamang po at subscribe na kayo and like, share, and comment. Okay. Let us now start. Again, we will determine the equation of a quadratic function using these given values. Ayan, kung mapapansin nyo, meron na tayong nakaset ng values for x and y. This set of values are set of ordered pair of points na kung igagraph natin ito ang makukuha nating graph ay smooth curve na parabola and these real numbers is the domain is paano nating mahahanap ang equation of a quadratic function using this standard form okay if this is the standard form Our main object, objective is to find the value of A, B, and C at the same time. Uh, here is the procedure. If this is our set of points, mamimili tayo ng 3 points. Kahit alin dyan, pwede nyong piliin. Ngayon, ito pinili natin. Negative 1 and 4 as P sub 1. Lagyan natin ng palatandaan. P sub 1 ang ating first point na pinili. Ngayon naman, yung second point na pinili natin ay 1, 0. At yung third point or P sub 3 na pinili natin ay 2, negative 5. Yung tatlong pinili nating points na yan ay isasubstitute natin dito sa ating given Equation or the standard form of a quadratic equation. Paano yun? Okay, here is how. Unahin natin ang first point natin na P sub 1 ay negative 1 and 4. Okay. Katulad ng sinabi ko sa inyo, na pag aralan na natin, ang ordered pair of points natin ay X and Y. Hindi pwedeng Y, X. X and Y. Okay, e negative 1 is our x and positive 4 is our y. Using this equation, y is equal to 4, substitute 4 for y is equal to what is our x? O, our x is negative 1. Okay, kung ang x natin ay negative 1, substitute natin sa x, a, x squared, or negative 1 squared. O, susunod, plus bx, plus b, and the value of x is negative 1 plus c. Ayan. O, sige, tuloy natin. 4 is equal to negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1a. Or A na lang. Ano? Kasi positive 1 ang ibig sabihin niyan pag walang nakalagay. Next is B, positive B times negative 1 is negative B plus C. Okay. This is our first equation. Using the first point. O ngayon, gamitin natin yung second point. Ang second point natin ay 1, 0 O substitute ulit Ang x natin ay 1 At ang y natin ay 0 
Using this equation, the standard form, the value of y in the second point is 0 is equal to ax squared. O A, ang x natin ay 1, 1 squared, 1 squared, plus B, the value of x is 1 times 1 plus C. Okay, 0 is equal to 1 times 1 is 1, or just simply A, B times 1 is B, plus B, plus C. C. And this is now our second equation. Sulat natin. First equation. Second equation. O again, here is our first equation and this one is our second equation. O wala na tayong susulatan kaya i-rewrite ko lang siya. Ano? Ayan. Kinopya natin dyan. Gagamitin natin mamaya yan. Uh, let us continue. Ito naman ang gamitin natin as our point 3. Which is 2, negative 5. Ang hahanapin natin ngayon ay ang ating third equation. Again, using this standard form. By substitution, y is negative 5 is equal to Ax squared, our x is 2a times 2 squared plus bx, our x is 2 plus c. A negative 5 is equal to 2 times 2 is 4 times a, 4a plus 2 times b is 2b plus c. And this is now our third equation. Okay, i -re ko itong third equation na to kasama doon sa ating first and second equations because we will use that to find the values for A, B, and C. Itong ating third equation ay i -re lang ulit natin. Ito na siya. Negative 5 is equal to 4a plus 2b plus c is our third equation. O ngayon, meron na tayong 3 equations. What should be the next? O ang susunod natin ngayon ay gagamit tayo ng dalawang equations out of these 3 para makita natin ang isa sa mga values ng a, b, and c. And the procedure is substitution by elimination. Kahit alin dyan. Sige, ang gawin natin, ito muna nga, second and third equations. Kunin natin ang second equation natin, 0 is equal to A plus B plus C, and the third equation is negative 5 is equal to 4A plus 2B plus C. Katulad ng sabi ko, substitution by elimination. Makikita natin kung alin ang madaling i-eliminate sa isang tingin lang. Ang madaling i-eliminate dito ay yung C. Kasi C minus C is 0 or cancel na. So, ang gawin natin dyan, ang procedure natin ay minus. This equation minus this equation. Okay. 0 Minus negative 5 is positive 5. No? Is equal to A minus 4A is equal to negative 3A. And B minus positive 2B is negative B. C minus C is cancel. Oh, this will be now our fourth equation. O ngayon, hanapin natin ng lima. Pag nakita natin yung pang lima, madali na natin makita ang values for A, B, and C. O ngayon, sa pang limang equation, ang gamitin naman kaya natin ay yung first at saka second. Ang ating first equation ay 4 is equal to A minus B plus C. At yung ating second equation ay 0 is equal to A plus B plus C. 
Kanina, ang in-eliminate natin ay yung C. Ang natira ay A and B. Kung isusubtract natin, dalawa ang nakikita kong ma-eliminate. Ang A at saka ang C. O, tingnan natin ha. 4 minus 0 is equal to 4. And this is equal to A minus A. Cancel. Negative B minus positive B is negative 2B. And C minus C is 0 or cancel. Therefore, 4 is equal to negative 2B. This will be now our fifth equation. But in the fifth equation, makikita na kagad natin ang value ng B. So, dalawa na lang ang hahanapin natin, A and C. Paano natin makikita ang value ng B? Or this is how. Ano ba ang kasama ng B? Di ba negative 2? O divide both sides by negative 2. O this is now cancel. B now is equal to 4. Divide by negative 2 is equal to negative 2. O ayan, meron na tayong value ng B. B is equal to negative 2. Ngayon naman, pwede nating hanapin ang value ng A. Paano nating hahanapin? Ito pwede mong laruin ang numero. Kasi kahit alin sa mga equations na yan ang gamitin natin, ay pwede nating mahanap ang value ng A. O sige, let us try this one. This equation. Yung fourth equation. Gamitin natin. I-substitute lang natin yung negative 2 doon sa B. Sige, write natin ha. Fourth equation is 5 is equal to negative 3a negative 3a minus the value of b is negative 2 right 5 is equal to negative 3a negative times negative is positive 2 positive 2 or this is now equal to negative 3a no yung 2 Dalhin mo siya sa kaliwa, magiging negative 2. Rewrite natin ang 5 minus 2. Ah, dito natin ituloy, ano? 5 minus 2 is 3 is equal to negative 3a. O ngayon, madali na natin makita ang value ng a. Divide both sides by negative 3. Uh, this is now equal to negative 3 divided by negative 3. Cancel. A is equal to, this is negative 3. A is equal to 3 divided by negative 3 is negative 1. Uh, we have now a value for A, a value for B. Isa na lang ang hahanapin natin. The value of Z. Kahit alin dito sa equations na nakuha natin, ay pwede natin gamitin to find for the value of C. O kahit ito, pwede natin siyang gamitin. Let us try this one. 0 is equal to negative A. Ah, 0 is equal to A plus B plus C. Kasi meron na tayong value ng A na negative 1. Meron na tayong value ng B na negative 2 na pang substitute sa dalawa para makita natin ang C. O sige, isubstitute natin ha. O, gamitin natin ito. 0 is equal to the value of A is negative 1. Yan, negative 1 plus B. O, ang B natin ay negative 2 plus C. Ayan. Tuloy natin ano? 0 is equal to dito. 0 is equal to negative 1 plus negative 2 is negative 3 plus C o, is equal to o, yung C, iwanan natin dyan yung 3, dali natin sa kaliwa magiging positive siya positive 3 plus 0 is equal to 3 therefore, C is equal to 3 o ngayon, makikita na natin ang equation natin using the quadratic function o ngayon, 
What is the value of A? Negative 1, B, negative 2, and C is positive 3. Sulat natin dito, ano? Our A is negative 1, our B is negative 2, and our C is positive 3. Ngayon, makikita na natin ang ating equation using this standard form by substitution. O y is equal to ax squared. Our x is negative 1. Hindi na inilalagay kapag ka 1. Kaya siya ay negative x squared. O plus bx. O plus bx and negative 2 ito. Ang b natin ay negative 2. So, this will be negative negative 2 x para sa bx because our b is negative 2 and our c is positive 3 and this is now the quadratic equation we found the quadratic equation using these values that when you graph these given values will give us a smooth curve called the parabola Oh, I hope everything is clear. Kaya, sa susunod po, magkita-kita muli tayo sa, sa ating uh, panibagong lesson. Hanggang dito na lang tayo. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Comment, like, and share. Bye-bye!